about web monetization. I would like to tell you what is web monetization, how we can use it, when we can use it, and how to implement it. I already found as well a few projects that you can use for the Dev2 Hackathon and maybe win the money. Uh, as well, I will tell you a bit about the hack that uh, you can use for now and what you can do to avoid be hacked if you will implement web monetization. Let's start. Web monetization is kind of proposal of API that we can implement to our website and we can start taking micro money from people who are reading or visiting our website or blog. For example, we can implement web monetization for the blog and for example, like disable some content until user will be not, not pay us like micro micro money, like 1% of cent or something. In this case, we will be able to like show the user content if he's paying for, for views. Okay, now let's go into implementation. First of all, we need to install our project with uh, Angular 9. We will use ngcli for that. Let's take a look. Fine, now we will implement our meta tag inside the index.html. As a content, we will specify our payment pointer, kind of a wallet. Let's take a look on the example with uh, XRP TipBot. I logged in with a Twitter, so it will look something like this. Okay, it's done. Now uh, I would like to show you uh, which package I will use. I installed Bulma CSS, I use just npm install Bulma and I implemented it in Angular JSON, like this. So we will have access to all Bulma CSS files. Now we will create HTML template it will be really simple. Okay, as you can see, everything works. Now we need to hide the code. We will use ng if, if it's not monetized, you can see we don't see the code, but we still don't know we should be monetized to see something else. So now we will add box with notification, we need monetization. Let's take a look. So if we are not monetized, it will show. Ah, now we will add uh, one button more, it will be just for simulate. Now it doesn't work at all. Fine, we are in uh, app component TS. Now we will create an uh, interface. We write in TypeScript, so we need interfaces, and uh, we will add something that uh, it's not added to the interface of document type. So we need to kind of create new one. Fine. Next step, uh, it will be create ng on init. First, we need to implement it inside the, our class declaration. And now we will set up our variable monetized as a false because as a start, we are not monetized. Now we will implement logic that will start on init of our component. So let's take a look. This logic will check if we have monetization, if we have monetization like on our browser, it will check if our monetization 
it's like a triggered event monetization start. If yes, we will have access to the code. As the almost last step, we need to add, uh, add something like kind of fake payment to trigger the event and simulate if we have monetization so we will be able to see how the code works. We can use a simple uh, new event that we will trigger. Let's test it. As you can see, we need to have like Chrome coil extension to make it work for now. And I would like to show you some hack that we can use. You see, if we will trigger this event from the console, anyway, we need not uh, membership on the coil. For example, I have not, and I was able to unlock the content and trigger event. So I think it's a bit not 100% secure for now. Of course, I think uh, Contributor will upgrade that. Congratulations! Now you know how to use web monetization, what's that, and maybe you will have a way to use it in your project. As well, maybe you will be able to use our ideas for the project and go into Hackathon. If you liked the video, give us a thumb up Subscribe our channel and leave a comment. See you in the next video. Bye!